Hello my friends, this is Maria. Today I have a wonderful book that is something from nothing and the writer is Phoebe Gelman. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket. to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's warm, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. This is the grandfather. Hmm, he said, as his scissor went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small. Doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Mmm, he said, as his scissor went snip, 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 and needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make, to make what? A wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to a school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother here said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's a spot with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Mmm, he said, as his scissor went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup make the end of it drop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Mmm, he said, as his scissor went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. 
But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's plot and it's splattered. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Mmm, he said, and his scissor went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful bottom. Joseph wore the wonderful bottom of his suspender to hold his pants up. One day his mother said to him, <gasps> Joseph, where is your bottom? Joseph looked, it was gone. He searched everywhere but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. My bottom, my wonderful bottom is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me, listen to me. The bottom is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather, shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Mm, he said, and his pen went screech, scratch, screech, scratch, screech, scratch. Over the paper, there's just enough material here to make A wonderful story. Bye, my friends. See you next week. Bye-bye.